Hi, Dr. Farboud. We're here today in your lab, and you have some software here that does something. Uh, will you talk to us a little bit about what we have here and what you're going to show us? Sure, absolutely. Well, I'm trying to build tools to help people be creative with music through the use of technology, but also from a listener's perspective, not just the creator's perspective. So here is an example of one of the musical pattern windows. And it's, it's very simple. It's, it's piano roll notation where you can drop in notes, move them around, say that's my pattern. Now that I have a musical pattern, I can draw it into my sketch window. So here's my sketch window, and I'm going to draw in a line like this. Mm -hmm. Now what you're going to hear is just this pattern repeating, basically. If I do something like this now, what's going to happen is, is it's going to keep the sense of that pattern, but also have an overarching shape to the progression of that pattern. It's meant to be an interpretation of the, the, the graphical shape in a musical way. What's nice about the interface is that it's really easy to just kind of go nuts and draw a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I wouldn't really recommend doing this. It's not very <laughs> musical. I'm going to delete that. Oh, no, let's hear it. Make a mess. Uh, OK. OK, so here we go. this is my masterpiece. Let's listen to it. Mm -hmm. To get the idea. Now, OK, so here's our piece. Say we, we, we're, we're happy with it mostly, but we want some we want some harmony. In this case, it's just called classical, which is generic tonal harmony, okay. functional harmony. I can start to shape this line in the middle. So this is the this is a simple case where I have some tension and it's being resolved. So It's now starting to sound a little more interesting because I'm adding these um, harmonic changes. Right. Um, so so that, that's kind of the basic idea. And this is a tool for people to get engaged without necessarily having to go through years of training. And the idea is that tools like this might be uh, possible for music therapy. And of course, there's the educational perspective. I'm very interested in what we can do with tools like this in schools. If they're integrated within a, a standard curriculum, um, can really help kids. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I have to apply for grants and <laughs> all these things. We're going to pass the cup in the <laughs> green room. <laughs> I'm going to pass the hat. <laughs>